And let me start with you, Bob Schieffer. Um, there have been a lot of good network anchors, including you. What was it? What were the qualities that set Cronkite apart? Well, number one, he just loved the news. Uh, number two, he let nothing get in the way of the news. With Walter, the news always came first. The CBS Evening News with Walter Cronkite was about news. It was not about Walter Cronkite. People understood that. It came through to people. The other part, Howie, and the part that I think was most important, Walter was just the same off camera as he was on camera. He loved the news, he loved to talk about it, he sounded exactly like he did on television, and, and everything about him was just the same. That too came through. So this was, for, he, he was not a showman, he was not flashy in the style of so many of today's television personalities. Uh, he was also uh, very competitive, wasn't he, even when he became a big success? Oh, he loved a scoop, and he loved no scoop better than when it was his scoop. Uh, he <laughs> thought uh, broadcasting was about getting the news. And, you know, I was listening to that little sound bite there. Did people think his, his uh, philosophy uh, impacted on the way he covered the news? With him, it was just finding out what happened. That was what drove Walter Cronkite. It wasn't ideology or, or some sort of an agenda. He just wanted to find out and find out before other people. He was the most curious person I have ever known. If Walter saw a car wreck, it would be the first car wreck he had ever seen in his life. He'd want to know all about it. He'd a, want to check it out. A very uh, uh, He was uh, amazing. A very uh, old-fashioned approach. You know, I've been talking to people in the last uh, 36 hours realizing that probably more than half the country is too young to have seen Cronkite uh, in his anchor role. We live in an all-news age now where everything comes every 12 seconds. Explain to people, if you would, why Walter Cronkite and Chet Huntley and David Brinkley uh, were so dominant in the 60s and 70s? Well, for one thing, uh, uh, the only two places you could get news on the day that it happened on a national scale uh, was at CBS and at NBC. At that point, uh, when Walter first came into his prominence, uh, ABC was not even a player. So you had very limited choices on the dial. That was one of the reasons. Uh, the other reason that people came to know Walter is Walter was there to some very traumatic events uh, in our history. Of course, he was there at the assassination of John Kennedy. He was also there at the much happier occasion when we first set foot on the moon. Walter was with us all those years through the good times and the bad times. And uh, that's uh, one of the reasons that people really came to trust him. Right. The and thing I go back to, though, if there were no bells and whistles on Walter Cronkite. He was just a reporter. He was a reporter's reporter. People knew that, and they understood that, and they appreciated it. And Bob Schieffer, we appreciate you joining us. You've got to go prepare for your own broadcast, so thanks very much. We'll let you go.